We've got a community organisation, an arts organisation, heritage, all very, very different but fundamentally with the same shared vision and now are really pulling together and I think that is a huge success. Whether it's working with a taxi driver or a housing association or a shopping centre or a rugby club, all of those things are about actually finding out you know, what we're bringing to the table, what they're bringing to the table and then a new experience kind of you know, is generated as a result of that. The work that we've done with the private sector has to some extent been the most exciting, the, the most unpredictable and we took a dance project to a seed company and to have contemporary dance residences in a place where people possibly don't engage with the arts and to see the impact that that project had was absolutely phenomenal. I think about our relationship, for example, with the rugby club, which looks at the rugby stadium as a site of cultural experiences beyond sports, but also looks at rugby as a model for community engagement. And that wouldn't have happened without this project. But that also requires a lot of hard work and maintenance to try and find out where those points of intersection are between a sporting rugby league context and an arts context. But when we find those points of intersection, really fantastic things happen.